my earphone. Can you hear? Can I? Uh, can I? Okay. Uh, so let me share the slide. Mm. Check that. This one. Okay. We stop. Uh, we stop here last night. Okay, we stop here last night. Uh, we talk about uh, stress relaxation. Um, after the class or later in the afternoon, I will share the uh, the recorded video with you. Right? Mm -mm. So uh, let's listen to me and few more slides to go, and then we finish. Then we will we will learn for the last uh, last part eh, of this topic. Okay, um, so we learned a little bit about creep last night, and also we start um, do the very start. I mean, we learned the very starting um, info uh, related to uh, stress relaxation, and uh, I also mentioned that uh, we can. Um, use we can perform uh, this test using the instrument machine uh, um, but I'm not very sure that I'm sorry I'm not sure that whether we can um, use the instrument machine that available in our school uh, to perform this test or not um, perhaps maybe I can ask uh, Mr. Rosmawadi on this coming Monday <laughs> with the group of um, we are going to do Pressure with other uh, remaining uh, groups now. Okay, so easy. We uh, when we want to, this is to measure the uh, stress differences. Also, we have to make the strain constant means the elongation uh, of our polymer materials is constant, so that we can uh, plot the graph stress versus time. Okay, so we may define, so we define the relaxation modulus and usually in the exercise later, I will share uh, one question. Eh? One question is actually uh, related to the calculation of uh, stress relaxation as well as we also can calculate the relaxation modulus. So still the same, um, we um, we still use the the equation, and eh? this equation is always like a universal, uh, regardless of you want to, uh, <laughs> you you doing any kind of a mechanical test, uh, either tensile, factorial, or when it involves with the modulus, uh, it's always a stress, uh, a strain, uh, sorry, stress versus strain. Eh? Okay, so same goes to this, but this is at a certain time, example, 10 second, uh, relaxation modulus at 10 second or 20 second. It has a time. We can, if you want to know uh, at 10 second, what is the relaxation modulus? At 20 second, what is the relaxation modulus? Huh? So that's why there is a T here. T is at a particular uh, time. Uh, usually we calculate in a second, huh? 10 second, 20 second. Or something like that okay so uh, where this the stress is a time dependent eh? and strain is the is the initial strain uh, initial strain because this is a constant strain right constant strain so that is why it's an initial strain we, if everything change um, it is difficult eh? to come up with a mathematical model or so it must be something has to be constant eh? Okay, uh, so the cause, the cause of stress relaxation is the viscous flow. So meaning that when we talk about the viscous flow is um, this, what we call more liquid like behavior. No? We are uh, examining the more liquid like behavior right? uh, of the polymeric materials. So the internal structure occurs by the polymer chain slowly sliding. So they start to slide themselves. And then uh, 
by breaking the reforming of the secondary bonds, no? Uh, then between the chains and the mechanical entangling and re recoiling of the chains. So the amount of stress relationship, uh, relaxation that occurs within the material is highly dependent on temperature. So last night, we learned three factors, right? Uh, three factors like um, effect the viscoelastic behavior uh, for the grip for the stress relaxation. So what are the three? The first one is already give you the answer is the temperature. What the other two? Are you still remember or not? <laughs> what the other two uh, factors? Give me answer or not, or you can first you can go back to your slide and then you check at least. Okay, strain rate, yes. And another one. One more. Load, ne? Okay. Load is the stress, no? So stats load is also related to the stress. Stress, strain, and temperature. Eh? Okay, thank you, Chai Mei. So so this is the comparison table, no? Um, we compare usually at your stage, you know, at second year, students uh, of second year, um, a lot of questions. Uh, be careful, no? Actually, a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Um, not only this subject, but other subjects. Huh? <laughs> uh, a lot of lecturers will really like to ask questions related to to differentiation to compare to differentiate you know so um when you when you meet this kind of question it you have to compare uh you have to give the answer in such a way like a comparison table example to to see uh the differences okay so to see the differences are uh, clear huh so you you uh you don't you don't do something like your senior before like they explain the script and then after that they only explain the stress this is not comparison this is just you do the explanation finish so after you you do the explanation the reader still do not know what are or what is or what are the differences between them so mm, this is no comparison to me strictly saying i will give kosong maka because you are not really do comparison you just explain what is creep and you just explain what is stress relaxation and this is not comparison uh, so you have to do side by side example okay we don't talk about a uh, uh, creep or stress relaxation we talk about maybe material or uh, polymer a b c you want you have to come you ask you the ask you to compare example thermoplastic thermoset elastomer based on their property okay or behavior so you compare uh, example like um, okay we can say um, maybe uh, regarding the physical look okay physical transparency so uh, for the thermoplastic example you is a semi crystalline so the transparency is low or you can say opaque so for the um for this uh thermoplastic with uh amorphous structure the transparency is high and the thermoplastic or uh, no and also maybe rubber the is opaque is non-transparent so this is only called a comparison on you know, side by side uh, low high medium blah 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 example so only the, the reader will understand oh when i want to choose uh, i want to choose a transparent uh, material oh now i know i have to choose the um the thermoplastic with amorphous structure because it gives the highest transparency uh, compared the other two uh, so if i want to choose something opaque no uh, a dark color uh, or more opaque uh, i don't want it to be see through okay so i i can choose uh, perhaps i can choose uh, elastomer elastomer is uh, high has high opacity 
uh, compared to uh, these thermoplastic semi-crystalline. So then we can know, uh, we can easily uh, make the choice. So if you only explain like this, like this, like this you explain the first thing, then you go to second thing, you go to third thing, you, know, you are not doing the comparison. So when I say tell the students like this, at the beginning, since their first year, but they don't listen to it, they keep repeat, they keep doing the same work huh? by explaining one to another only by not doing the comparison, plotting out the table. Sebenarnya, I bagi kosong maka. Okay. So now I tell you, you have to be careful. Okay. Now, you see, uh, so here we have a side-by-side -side table. Maybe this comparison is not really good yet. Nah. It's not really good yet. You can, uh, you can try to make it a better one. Eh? So, creep is a continued extension. So, we, when we talk about the creep, we talk about uh, this, about the, mm, um, the length or the diameter. Eh? differences or deformation of a plastic part under continuous load when the or continuous load is applied. It results from the viscoelastic flow of the polymer with time. Okay? So it's like you can you can draw a you can draw a, a simple uh, graph oh, to show uh, the quick result is uh, is the strain versus time. Okay. Oh. And then another one for stress is the stress versus time. Ah, you can draw this out and then people can see side by side very clear, right? And then uh, when, okay, it is measured, you can say it is, me it is, it is measured when uh, stress is constant for creep. And for stress, it is measured as strain is constant. Ah, see, okay, so you can see the difference already very quickly, kan? Side by side. Ah. So... Uh, and its consequences of delay, you know? because relaxation, ma. relaxation means that everything is in a relaxing mode. <laughs> From the word, you can you can roughly guess uh, sometime, right? Um, if we are in secondary school, uh, high school, when we learn about English, correct? Our teacher always asks us to, you just guess first what is the meaning of this word, uh, when it pop up in the sentence now, so you don't directly go and search the dictionary. You you try to guess. Although you, we, we may not at the first time, uh, at the beginning we heard about this word, and then we are not really uh, know the meaning. But we can do the guessing from the whole sentence. Uh. This is how our English teacher or any language teacher uh, teach us, right? Uh -huh. So it's actually I find out that it is still very useful. Uh, up to this stage, up to the university level, in, even though later you go to work. Uh. Um, so here is about the delay, eh? consequences of delay of molecular motion as in creep. Eh? Okay, so maybe this is not really good, uh, comp this is not really good sentence. You can restructure it or you can redo it, no? and then you can, like just now I tell you, you can plot the graph. Okay. Uh, then you let the leader more understand and also yourself. If you understand, you have no problem to do the comparison eh? well. Okay, uh, so here already mentioned, uh, uh, the creep test is carried out applying a constant load. Eh? So uh, it's, a, it's a constant stress, no? load or stress. And here it is side by side, you mentioned this is strain. Eh? Uh, at a constant temperature. For this one, is also stress realization is at a constant temperature. Eh? Okay, and it is, it is time dependent, increasing the length, and this one is increasing the stress or reducing the stress, no? something, the stress related. Okay, so this is reducing the stress. Eh? Okay, so you can see, uh, maybe this example is not really good, but you can uh, you still can see the difference with one this point and the second point. Okay. Uh, the second slide um, about this comparison. 
dependent on types of stress or cycle of strain that has been used. Okay, so this is dependent because um, in a constant stress or, or load, so that it very dependent uh, the types of stress, meaning that either we perform uh, the grip test by the, the mode of test, you can do uh, compression mode, you can do uh, fractional mode, yeah, you can do cantilever mode. <laughs> huh? Yeah, so that's why it said it depends on type of stress. And this one is dependent on the strain applied huh? and also the temperature. And here is also a temperature, eh? Creep also temperature. Eh? I for, you, you can no? you can uh, include uh, at the bit at the below here. Eh? So the increase in temperature will increase the creep and decrease the creep modulus. Eh? Okay. So here you are, you also can measure if increase the temperature, what happened to the stress relaxation? <laughs> okay, you can cherry some of that. Uh, in Google. Actually, there's a lot. Okay. So, uh, changes in strain and strain versus can be shown in grid curve. Okay, this is the curve you can draw lot, that I tell you. Eh? This is another curve you can draw. Okay, eh? so something like this. So, here a simple one. The grid, so when the stress is constant, uh, so it's like this. The strain versus time curve is look like this. And the stress realization is the decreasing of the stress over the time. No? So it's usually it would be like this only. And that is something realization happen here eh? at the initial. The stress is not, um, how to say guys, the stress at the beginning is not zero. The realization and then at zero time there are some, the higher stress here and then it will drop eh? um, at a certain period of time. So, so you can you can draw this off uh, to show the differences, very clear differences. Can? Okay, so everyone will understand. And when um, I check your answer also, I'll feel happy. <laughs> okay, even though you don't really how to uh, give in words, uh, uh, then you can draw something like this, then it, it, is, uh, it shows a huge difference. Very very uh, easy to differentiate using the picture. Always people, uh, sorry. Always people say um, pictures means the thousand words, right? Even one picture, you no need to talk so much, then people will understand maybe. Okay, so this is I put it empty because I'm I'm take, I take uh, the info from other, so it it is not easy to connect from the previous. Huh? so we. We, you can, the comparison of creep and stress relaxation is quite easy. It's not difficult. It's always uh, play around the, the load, the strain rate, and the time, and temperature. Oh, see? Uh, actually, all of the science things related, uh, uh, science related things, they are, it, it cannot run away about um, the time, uh, the you know the time the temperature the pH yeah sometimes but this is we can't um, we can't how to say we can't perform the test in different pH and it is also not necessary it is also yeah not required to majority of the application in the mechanical test no? But for chemical reaction, yeah, pH is very important, right? You learn organic chemistry, you learn inorganic analytical chemistry. They always play around this pH, right? So, but this one, uh, the pH is uh, not important for the application. So that's why you can forget about that. Yeah, or, and you understand that. Okay, uh, so Chai Mei already mentioned this now. Huh? that do not seem to be noticeable and metals and ceramic. Some features in polymeric materials that do not seem to be noticeable in metals or ceramics. So that is why you have you have the advantages of when if you learn um, 
polymeric material. So you have advantages to know more about this material, which you're not able to learn it from the metal and ceramics. It would be uh, more complicated. <laughs> but what um, I think what we what you learn here in Unimap is not as complicated as um, the other universities professor has taught the student. Um, Dixotropy, okay, and you haven't learned about after this. Uh, there is a um, very important topic called rheology. <laughs> uh, uh, some uh, some of the polymer students they learn one subject only related to rheology. It's called intro. It's called rheology or polymers about rheology. Uh, and this is very very related to uh, viscous elasticity. And there are many 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 equations in this topic the rheology. <laughs> okay, um, so. You don't. You you are lucky. You no need to learn that so deep. I remember my friends. They they learn one of the topic of this biology. Yeah, yeah. And we have the we we have the instrument. We have the instrument to uh, determine the biology uh, properties of polymer here. But uh, undergraduate students never touch it before. <laughs> uh, uh, and that is, is actually taken care by one of the lecturer from materials engineering, um, not from polymer engineering. We had run, but be, because before that, uh, that lecturer is uh, doing her PhD in polymer engineering. And then after he, she become the, uh, my colleague, and then she has been placed in uh, material engineering department, <laughs> something like that. Okay. Because it can be interchanged, right? Polymer is also can be in material. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we also learn this one is a repeated, ne? Uh, a, a repeated uh, things. Eh? So I'm not going to uh, explain about stress relaxation. And this is what we have been done or uh, in the lab. Okay. Then is all we learn about the deformation. All the things that we learn is about a deformation. Huh? Uh, the test, I think, is uh, sorry. Just now, it should it should be the test can be done in a tension mode, and usually people use tension mode or uh, cantilever or uh, fractional mode. Eh? Okay. Um, so you see the deformation uh, properties. We can. We can do. We can use different kind of uh, testing mode to study the deformation and to know the deformation of the polymer. There are a lot actually, but you have seen three, no? You have seen three. Uh, that's good. Unfortunately, uh, you never has the chance to do the compression, right? Eh? Uh, I think we have, or if, if I'm not mistaken, but I do not know whether the machine has broken or not. <laughs> oh. Dr. Phyllis is very good in compression uh, tests, no? uh, yeah. okay, but we don't put it in our lab. Lah, huh? uh, maybe in your third year or final year, perhaps. No? Okay. Hi, this are uh, every test, okay, every kind of test that is pro and cons. Not, not all the tests are perfect. Not all the tests are perfect. There must be a pro and cons. So uh, we, as as an engineer, no, <laughs> as a future engineer, uh, you have to know uh, why you want to perform this test and why you choose this test and why you suggest uh, this test to your clients or to your customers. No? And you can you can explain to them uh, clearly. Uh, why they have to perform this uh, analysis uh, to know the property of the material before they sell it. Uh. So then you, you are very good, you should be very good, no? sorry, you should be very good in, in explaining. Kenapa you tak pergi buat tensile, you pergi buat fractional. So I actually uh, sharing some of this information uh, to group one to four already during the class, no? Yeah. So, uh, and then also, kenapa you do impact, you tak pergi buat, no? Some of the industries, no? 
um, but they do like usually impact and tensile is always together uh, if they did the tensile uh, test if they find out there is a uh, high elongation uh, so they will perform uh, the impact test so I uh, I visited to some of the companies like making a polymer based company uh, they have these two instruments eh? usually they have the impact tester and as well as the tensile tester so some of them they buy in a uh, they buy the instrument because instrument is the uh, branded <laughs> branded uh, instrument eh? for uh, this short performance uh, mechanical test and it is most trusted by the world by the industry in the world and if I even know by the universities so. but recently I find out that some of the mini mini small industry like we call it small medium industry or small medium enterprise uh, SME uh, they bought the impact tester and also the uh, tensile tester from China because it's very cheap <laughs> uh, the, the is can be like a uh, uh, one one hundred percent cheaper than the instrument because instrument is designed by the U.S. No, <laughs> so uh, I find out when I visit I visit some of the companies uh, working on uh, these uh, polymer uh, materials. But of course, uh, the big company, no? uh, they don't they don't they don't really do this because their their customer is. Is international right so they have to make sure um, they really do they, they really use the uh, international recognized uh, test or whatever and to show the strength of their company so that they can keep having the business huh, from uh, from abroad or something like this okay uh, so bending uh, kids bending is fractional no? okay. uh, that the group number one to four uh, done it on Monday morning. Okay. Um, okay. I think I cannot. Uh, bending is is good to to measure the modulus of the material because usually uh, modulus is referred to stiffness. Okay. So refer to stiffness. Stiffness doesn't mean that it is flexible eh? so for hard material hard and brittle material usually it has high modulus <laughs> so that is why uh, it is it is better we perform the bending test rather than we perform the tension no? or the tensile so uh, it is it's a good choice if you want to uh, measure the modulus for hard and stiff material <laughs> so uh, hardness is actually related to bending eh? yeah so um, actually high modulus in bending it can say meaning that it has correlate to the hardness that you done so that is why we put factual and hardness in one day <laughs> and then we put tensile and impact in another day so they are related to each other okay so when you do the lab report you can correlate but unfortunately uh, you have to separate the uh, the report eh, for this test and for that test oh? uh, anyway you can put a statement like this okay huh? um well however uh variation strain and inhomogeneity the fractional uh, if our specimen not prepared in a good condition so there's also our result it can it may be not uh, inaccurate no? uh, that is always happen uh, huh? um, we uh, so the manufacturer has to control that and usually yeah, mm, we so for the Young's modulus, eh, is actually we measure the Young's modulus at the elastic region only, meaning that it's at the uh, solid-like behavior and obey the Hooke's law. Uh, 
so polymer viscoelastic um we actually you know uh more than that we are we have to we have to be more interested to those beyond beyond the elastic region eh? because in the real world uh the elastic region of polymer is kind of impossible if the polymer always we have 100% like solid nothing will die <laughs> nothing will fail so this is not we interested so we are interested on the nonlinear part which the plastic deformation that is the reality that is the real world a real scenario happen that's why it it only undergo the deformation if it if it's only behave at the elastic region, so actually no deformation will happen. Come. Uh, okay. Uh, this one is actually people set two percent offset. Uh. Um, it is more applied to metal. Yeah, polymer we seldom do this two percent of offset. But for metal material, yes, okay. Mm. Okay, bond between adjacent. Okay, so this one, I have to highlight this part. Eh? Uh, but last night, I we keep repeating, right? We keep talking about this when we because it's temperature dependent properties. Either is creep or stress relaxation. Uh, when we place. The, mat, uh, the material at the temperature below the polymer's DG, what it happened, and above the polymer's DG, what will happen, and have you think that if num num the DG, what will happen? <laughs> okay, but kids, remember or not, uh, DG, DG is just one temperature, ke dia adalah di dalam temperature range, based on your understanding. Based on Yusuda, we have Blaja. It's a range. Thank you, Chan Mei. Chan Mei remember all the things are very good girl. Eh? Oh. So, um, so TG usually is not like uh, uh, TM or TC. Oh? Uh, it, uh, it is just one temperature. But actually TG, if you understand well, TG is a range of temperature. We have initial TG, mid TG, and NTG. Eh? Uh, so, uh, the scientists or the researcher usually report the TG is the mid TG. Actually, there is an initial TG and end TG. So, to some of the manufacturers in the industry, they have to be very careful if their product is very sensitive eh, to temperature. So, they have to report the initial TG to the customer. Okay, please, huh, you don't uh, use this product huh, in this temperature, huh, you know. Uh, karana just suda, the polymer chains start to slide themselves. <laughs> and then I can initiate now, cepat cepat initiate uh, the failure. Uh, so uh, be a smart customer. If you are polymer student, if you can ask this question, uh, you will you will have a high impression, eh? <laughs> good impression to your boss. <laughs> ha. Oh, this student now, uh, hmm, dia tahu pun uh, ha. So dia bukan accept saja apa yang you know diarahkan, tapi dia akan um, Question, eh? The, uh, ask more question. Hey, boss, you give me this TG, is what kind of TG? Is the initial TG, mid TG, ataupun end TG? Kalau end TG mati lah kan? <laughs> uh, but something like this, no? Kalau mm. you pantai, you have the, some good uh, background or uh, good basic, then you ask this question, you will give a good impression to them. Hey, yeah, okay, so this is also uh, repeating info. Sorry, kids, no? Okay, this is the important part. No. Uh, we now, uh, the question asks us ne, in a stress realization test, or sometimes the question don't tell you. It's a stress realization test. The question tell you the test performed at a constant strain. Itu aja. <laughs> okay, sometimes they just want to play around with the student. Uh, if they understand, they uh, they remember what they learn. Uh, 
uh, because you only learn two ma kan you only learn uh, script and stress decision kan uh, so if you really know how to differentiate that when the question come up maybe they don't tell you uh, in a script test but they tell you uh, uh, you, uh, a viscoelasticity uh, a viscoelasticity test okay at a constant strain or load a uh, constant stress or, or constant load or stress or stress sorry okay then you are required to uh, determine blah 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 oh. mm. so yang ini uh, I, we, we can change the question like this we don't tell you directly it's a stress relaxation test we tell you that the test will be performed uh, the test is performed at a constant strain <laughs> ah, later you kena pusing pusing constant strain apa ni eh kalau constant strain test apa eh ha, akan buat you fikir sekejap baru you tahu kan ah, ini straightforward lah okay. <laughs> and then a specimen is quickly loaded at temperature more than its TG okay more than the polymer TG ah. so meaning that the polymer will the strain no oh, will cepat turun lagi lah kan ah, the stress versus time so the stress will cepat turun lah of this material eh? penurunan of the stress akan lagi cepat kerana temperature increase no? and then at a constant strain ah, so it give you the uh, strain number lah example give you the strain result no Oh, uh, what what is the strain that I can be eh, dalam soalan? Okay, so now you are required to determine the stress at a certain time. Example, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, no? <laughs> okay, so now we ask you to measure the stress first. Oh. So this is the equation, okay? Uh, like got a straight line lah sebenarnya we lebih suka straight line punya equation and we lebih suka buat straight line ke punya graph kan senang kita buat kerja in science science is let the people understand easily okay itulah maksud science if science buat people difficult that is not science <laughs> okay so that is why the people outside the parents the young students or oh, your juniors your uh, your little brother or they always think that science is difficult sebenarnya science is much easier than arts kerana betul adalah betul salah adalah salah dia tak ada grey area dia tak ada benda yang di di antara betul dan salah betul tak if you think back correct straight forward dia akan beritahu betul betul salah salah kan ah uh, kalau you study arts, tak ada benda macam ni. You study arts selalu kena, <laughs> kena buat, buat, uh, buat apa? If is if the students in the art stream, no, they don't have a really betul-betul, betul-betul punya answer dan salah saya punya answer. Dia tak straightforward macam ni. So that is why people, you can, you can, you can, when you communicate with the people, right? If you, you can feel that whether they are the art, type of the science type of people if the science type of people they will my art stream friend right complain think her job okay let chai mei got sharing that's good nah? now we, we we got okay ah chai mei what say my art stream still friend okay always complains and that she thinks her job good but not for specification uh, that her lecturer wants so so she not satisfied with her grade oh okay <laughs> No, uh, so in arts, no, you know, like in arts, you the other answer yang betul betul punya tau. So it's very subjective. Like what Chai Mei say, maybe the student kan already uh, the student give the answer feel that hey, this is the best answer. Well, I think it's the best answer I give. Tapi kan in the mind of the lecturer, if the lecturer is conservative type, oh, they are betul tak? There are conservative lecturers. There are a lot of conservative lecturers in Malaysia. Eh? That is why a lot of experts huh, in Malaysia migrate to developed countries. Because when they give the very, when they give the new idea, I can say it's new. New means that 
nothing you see in this world yet. Innovation meaning that still got something there, but you improve from something which is already there. That is only called innovation. But new is something that happened. Okay, so some of the good sci some of the good scientists are uh, so they suggest uh, the proposal of yeah want to do this. And then uh, but it is not accepted in Asian. Uh, the Asians are more conserv conservative in thinking. So that huh, yes. So uh, um they, they, they say that this is not a good idea or they are too conservative, they cannot accept the uh, dramatic changes, like what I can say. They cannot accept the dramatic change. And then they suggest, okay, la, macam is like a smartphone or like phone. We never expect that the phone can be in such high tech. Kan? Huh? Kita only figure, uh, uh, the phone must be other button, la, macam ni kan, no? Ha. Tapi sekarang kan phone tak ada button dah lah. <laughs> Boleh tekan, oh kan, uh, if phone will boleh buat macam-macam dah sekarang kan, or you can connect this lah, and then to your phone lah, sensor lah, and then my professor connect her, his house lah in Malaysia, and then uh, he actually work in Australia, and every day he can observe the situation in the house lah, uh, connect to the phone, and then the system go like this now. So, dah macam ni dah, of course there are other things lah ha. So and then uh, the conservative people right, they uh, they they cannot accept all uh, the dramatical change. So they turn they turn down uh, the idea, and this idea actually is acceptable by the Western country. They said, okay, you do it first. Let's do it. Although this is a crazy idea, <laughs> uh, they buggy do it. They do, and then success will come. Uh, so. That's why a lot of uh, good scientists, excellent scientists, they are not in Malaysia. They they work in the U.S. They work in the Canada. I met a few of them. They are Malaysian, but they are super duper. Uh, I mean, they are the great or excellent or outstanding. Yeah. So, okay, because our government don't accept them. Right. <laughs> uh, like, uh, so here. Uh, Remember this uh, simple equation eh? uh, to calculate the stress. Mm. Um, so if you, uh, sorry, we maybe we, we a little bit of arts, no? art stream and science. Sebenarnya, science is very straightforward. Betul, betul. Salah, salah. Finish. <laughs> tak ada benda yang kat tengah-tengah. So we, if we are the science people, we learn science. We are very straightforward human. Okay, you kata betul, betul lah. Saya tak akan argue lagi. Ah, tak payah pun, since you already show the proof. Ah, da -da 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 -da, betul. Da -da -da -da, salah. Okay, so only one and zero. When you play the circuit, uh, circuit one, zero, minus one, minus one, <laughs> something like this. Kan? Ah. So, itu saja. Tapi kan, the arts, macam-macam ada. <laughs> oh, the, you cannot, you're not able to find, uh, so that is why I, always say, tell the young people, studying art is more difficult than studying science. <laughs> uh, but, um, they, but the people outside not thinking like this. They want, they will put their kids in the art stream. Even though the teacher, so, you know, don't simply trust your teacher nowadays. The teacher in, <laughs> sorry, eh? so the teacher in secondary school, primary school, they don't have a good exposure be frank to you uh, so it will be better you get the advice from the university le level punya ataupun your 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 relative who is involved in a corporate level corporate level means uh you know you know corporate level or international level so they have a lot of exposure they they went to many countries they meet many many kind of people so they can give you a very good advice the primary school teacher and secondary school teacher only mix with student and the teachers among the primary and secondary that's all if you observe that <laughs> okay so 
That's why I don't know. So sometimes my cousin study in arts. I told them, "Are you sure you love the arts?" Or then they tell me, "No, it's my teacher placed me there." I say, "Ah, <laughs> do you fight for that? <laughs> Something like that, or、uh, you have to fight for your interest?" I always say like that. Ah,、uh, then the yeah lor. And then I say, "Okay, Chapa Yoga teacher. I want. I can talk to her." <laughs> I talk to her. Your parents don't know how to talk to your teacher, lah.、Like、I talk to your teacher. I say, ah, <laughs>、uh, to fight for your, you know, ah,、uh, for your future or for what you interested. Then、eh? cannot simply play the student like that one. I say, ah, <laughs>、uh, yeah, yes. Some of the students are,、uh, and then the students like they, you know, lah. Your the the young people like the.、Uh, Eighteen years old, lima belas tahun, lapan belas tahun macam ni kan? Dia tak ada exposure lagi kan? And then、uh, the teacher, whatever the teacher give, they all just accept. Ah,、uh, then but some of them they have their own dream already. Yeah, so this very good lah.、Right? They have their own dream. Then they should they should go for their dream lah kan? Ah,、uh, tiba tiba teacher buat macam tu kan? So I say you should fight for your right. <laughs> tak boleh ikut saja macam tu. Oh, so because some of the parents they are、uh, they don't have a good exposure as well, right? My uncle and this they are not good has good exposure. Then I say, do you want my help or not? I can talk to your teacher. <laughs> But in the end, don't care. They okay because it's it's their business. Ah,、uh, I don't want to catch up later. They say I busy body. Ah,、uh, banyak catch up ni orang macam macam. <laughs> so. Okay, up to then. But this is the education system in Malaysia. Very sad one. <laughs> okay. Um. So, eventually, yeah lah. Ah,、uh, she just accept. Hmm. She not going to fight. She say, ah,、uh, no need lah. You no need to talk to my teacher lah. I say, huh? Okay. Up to you. This is your future, not my future. I say. <laughs> okay. So the stress. Ah,、uh, here is the equation. Remember this equation, eh? We calculate the stress at a certain time. Ah,、uh, at certain time, t is at certain time. Ah,、uh, ten second, twenty second, thirty second. Okay, equal to the initial stress. Oh, dia akan bagi you initial stress. Okay, exponential negative t t is ah、uh, at a certain time also. Okay, so example ten second, ten second. Okay, so maybe we don't know yet, eh? We don't know yet. Okay, and then. Uh, this is the initial、uh, strain, eh? Wait, eh, bukan. Wait, this is the okay. Sorry, this is the time, and、uh, it's the relaxation time constant. Okay, this is the constant, eh, constant. Okay, so maybe we know the time, we don't know the constant. Eh, so and then after that, we know the constant, we can calculate. So let let's see. Uh, there's a one example, eh? You already received that. There's an example. Uh, of a question. Okay, ah,、uh, so uh, no need to talk about this anymore. Ah,、uh, stress relaxation. This is great. Okay, ah,、uh. okay. So now, ah,、uh, we come to this important part. Eh, ah,、uh, how we calculate? Oh no, how we calculate the stress? Okay, at a certain time, and then after we got the stress, then we can calculate the modulus. Eh, okay. So an instantaneous strain, ah, zero point four, no unit. Can you be belajar lah di ah in the lab of ah ten saat eh so suppose ini strain is unitless, okay? Because is initial bawa you know already, so is zero point four, is applied to a polymer specimen and the specimen is maintained. Ah,、uh, sorry kids. I why I change the sample to specimen? Uh, you you know the reason, right? Why I don't like to use the word sample in in this case? Do you know the reason or not? Confusing. Ah, yes, I may. Good. Okay. Ah,、uh, so ah,、uh, the specimen is maintained under strain. Okay, so in a constant strain, ah, ini maintain understand is constant strain lah. Meaning sama aja lah kat. Tapi perkataan macam mana tulis tu tak sama, tapi the meaning is the same. Ah, so this is play around the English lah. <laughs> so the initial stress, okay, initial stress is five megapascal. 
and decays. Jadi 2 megapascal after 50 second, it tell you. Okay, so dia nak tahu, can you please estimate, so estimate the stress in the polymer at 10 seconds. Ataupun 20 second. Boleh tukar pun. Bila-bila pun boleh tukar. Kalau saya nak tahu. From here, we have the graph already kan. No? Initial time. Uh, and then 0 to 50 second. Okay. So, at the initial is 5 megapascal. And then decay to 2 megapascal. So, if I want to know uh, 10 second. At least we need to have a. 3 point kan. Betul tak? Kita nak buat graph tu, at least kita ada 3 point baru boleh buat satu graph. Betul tak? Ini hanya bagi 2 point aja. Point starting and point the end. No? Okay, so kalau you nak buat ke, question can be asked 30 second pun. No? Sekarang dia ask 10 second. So you can you can actually estimate 10 second, 20 second, 30 second, 40 second, or you plot many, many, uh, then you can plot a, even a more accurate punya graph lah. Uh. Okay, dia bagi estimate so can you estimate 10 second? Apakah stress dia? Of course in common sense, in 10 second, the stress must be in between 5 meg uh, below 5 megapascal, above 2 megapascal. Betul tak in common sense? Uh, this is the first you have to think lah. Kalau you punya equation is betul, your answer should be in between this kan. Takkan dia lebih daripada 5 pascal? Salah. Ah, Takkan dia kurang daripada 2 mega pascal? Salah. Kalau answer you macam tu lah kan. Then you have to, ha, tak betul lah. Aku kena, aku kena calculate lagi sekali kan. At least you need to have this common sense ah. <laughs> okay. So, can we start calculate? You, we use the equation eh. We learned just now. Okay. So, this is the uh, stress at 50 seconds. Kita dah tahu dah. Okay, so we need to find the constant. We don't know constant. Okay, so and then we we get the constant is in second eh. Okay, kids, remember all the units sini eh. Nah, jangan lupa. If you give me the answer, the digit is betul. Tapi the unit salah, answer is salah. <laughs> ah. Okay, because a lot of students, they care only the digit saja. Dia tak kisah pun apa unit pun, mega pascal, giga pascal, blah, blah, blah tu. Dia tak kisah. Tapi this is wrong eh. You, you need to practice yourself. Now you are second year only eh. Uh, still plenty of time. So you have to make this as a good habit. No? Ah, yeah, even though you belajar mathematik dulu kan, secondary school ke, high school ke, kan. Ah, So, kena tulis unit eh. Okay. So after we calculate, we in go in sangat senang kan? Betul tak? It's very easy the equation ah. Okay. Then after you, after we calculate, we get the constant is 54.9 second. So it actually used 54, uh, the constant is 54.9 second. So, so we can use this constant to apply to another one. Now we have 10 second. So we want to know the stress at 10 second. Okay, sekarang tak, tak tahu dah. Oh, kan. And then we know the time jadi 10. And then we have the constant dah. Kerana dah dapat ini dah lah. So kita masukkan lagi, kita calculate. Okay, in the end we dapat 4.16 megapascal. No? Okay. So, betul lah. So 4.16 megapascal after 10 second. Uh, it reduced to 4.16 megapascal. Okay, from 5, after 10 second, it's 4.16. Okay, and then we got this. After that, we still have to, maybe the question also further up, if I ask, please also estimate the relaxation modulus at 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> uh, further question, see so how you gonna do? Ini tak ada answer dah. Tapi kita bincang sekarang. Very easy only. So how you gonna do? Now you have the stress. Ah, done. So so what? What is your answer at the uh, for this modulus? Modulus the equation is stress versus strain, kan? Ah, but it's the initial strain. So 
what you can do. You have to use this. Ah, bagi jawapan dulu kita discuss. Jangan saya nak, jangan saya terus bagi jawapan. <laughs> and then we go to a second topic. This almost finish. Ah, this is important, eh? Anyone can write. Uh, I don't want chime in anymore. I want others. So give me the answer. Roughly, roughly, roughly how, how you do. No need to give me the end answer, but roughly what we should do if one, two. Uh, after we know the stress at 10 seconds, then I ask a further question. What is the relaxation modulus at 10 seconds? Okay, now 4.16 divided by 0 by 4, Jeff. Okay, and then the modulus should be what you need. Still in still in okay ah uh. Jeff Salah P should be big capital <laughs> and big capital ah uh, betul bagus okay why I am so fussy about this <laughs> okay ah uh. actually um just make ourselves as a habit lah uh. oh this is science Maybe somebody, you know, sometime I I talk to the people that they are not really um, study a lot or whatever in the analysis of uh, in the analysis of the report or something uh, in, in, in in WhatsApp lah. Uh, they simply put the unit ah. Uh, nanti sekejap big capital, nanti sekejap small letter, letter of ini kan. And then I actually uh, correct them. But some of the people are not happy. They say, maybe the things will change later. Uh, who knows uh, who, who is uh, working on uh, a great scientist. They want, they want to make these things um, tak jadi. Tapi kan, kalau kita belajar science, kita tak ikut benda betul-betul, uh, then apa, what is the reason behind we belajar science? Kan? Kalau memang, if let's say there's anyone go and uh, fight, or uh, what they call it, go and fight or go and um, like mention this is wrong and then they have proof that another one is correct. Okay lah, then we accept. Kan? Tapi sekarang the universal, the whole world are using this the same. So we still have to use it, follow it. Uh, so people will not confuse. Kan? Okay lah, why? For information, uh, actually, uh, I mm, um, there's a lot of scientists. Uh, they are very particular on this kind of thing. A lot. A good scientist, they are very particular on this small, small little things like this. Big capital P, la, small letter P. La. Uh, I can I pernah kena tau. <laughs> um, my manuscript submitted and then uh, they bounce back. They say, oh, da -da -da. one letter on this. Ah, macam ini lah, small letter, big letter, ah, dia pun, dia kata pun, dia pun kata tak boleh, ah, you kena tukar. Ah, so, something like this, so we, we, we try to uh, train, we, we train ourselves at the beginning of, uh, not to do this kind of, we, we think that uh, this is a silly mistake lah. And then to the outstanding scientists, when you show this kind of work to them, they will think that, Macam mana orang lain fikir kat, kat kita ni kan? Oh, dia akan rasa, eh ini orang ni ya, betul-betul belajar ke? Ah, hantar benda macam ni kat saya. Yang basic things pun tak boleh buat betul dah lah. Kan? So different orang have different thinking but but when you deal with good scientists, their thinking is like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then because I, I, I see there are analysis um, like nutrition uh, example lah, they they analyze the uh, the ph of the solution so as our otak dalam universal ph is from 1 to 14 betul tak oh tak ada beyond 14 dah lah kan tapi their analysis can be on the 14 <laughs> the ph ah uh, so I pun, com I pun comment lah, eh mana ada pH yang lebih daripada 14 ni tak pernah tengok pun kan. Uh, uh, and then there's one people also not happy. Uh, who knows nanti ada, that is nanti ada is you pergi proof lah. Nanti ada kan you pergi uh, design the kits uh, 
or the test kit to show you boleh measure more than pH of 14. Tak apalah, tapi sekarang tak ada lagi mah. Kan? Nah. <laughs> I baru nak bagi but rejected by doctor. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, bagus. So, uh, you, 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 it's 0 0.4. Ah. Time is not 4. Ah. The strength is 0 0.4. Okay. Oops, mala dia. <laughs> okay, ah. so be careful. Uh, uh, why I emphasize this to you guys, oh, I have to tell lah. Um, good, good student, oh, good student, uh, good student is, uh, we can find, they can, they are very, uh, good in a minor minor uh, they they can do things very carefully even though a minor things uh, this is the minor things will differentiate us from the others you remember remember that no but i'm very happy la. uh you're all uh, very happy uh your batch is really good maybe you have the culture lo. you you number that I, I i just want to share la, uh, your senior dengan dulu dulu punya macam ada I can feel that if one batch, this batch of students, ah, they can influence others punya tau. Macam, this batch of students semua bagus. Oh, dia akan semua bagus. Ah, tapi kan, another batch, oh, semua buat macam uh, tak kisah, buat kerja tak kisah, study tak kisah. Ah, so, the whole batch, oh, perangai pun macam tu. <laughs> so, ah, your batch, oh, is better than your senior tau, the tahun tiga punya. Ah, betul leh, saya cakap. Ah. <laughs> so, aku tak tahu kenapa. Ah, so, it's like this on punya. So, sometimes of this special of student macam ni, semua bagus ke belakang akan bagus lah kerana dia akan influence eh, each other. Ah, semua pun macam ni, saya pun kena macam ni. Ah, so, this batch of student, ah, selalu kita akan feel sangat happy lah when ah, when we ah, we together with, with them. So, like you, I think you are the I am not really um upper, I'm not really uh good dengan your junior lah. Tapi your junior is my RPS but tak pernah ajar mereka lagi lah. And then the third year and then final year, I find out uh, your batch is better than them, no? I mean, in terms of attitude lah, I say. Oh. Okay ah. So now, another important part. Oish! Why doctor keep saying ah? <laughs> ah, you tau lah so now let's see the this one uh the relaxation modulus no we still in the relaxation modulus uh, more detail lah uh creep more because i think creep you akan belajar nanti dengan other lecturer no so tak apa okay <laughs> um let them teach you okay so you see no and okay, now because we keep mentioning right the uh the relaxation modulus and creep are uh, uh, temperature dependent. Kan? All right. So if let's say we place this is a uh, one example of the polystyrene polymer eh? and tactic. Uh, you tell eh? you learn isotactic, symbiotic, and tactic. All right. So this is a tactic polystyrene. So meaning that this is amorphous, no? Amorphous thermoplastic. Okay, so usually we like to use this example, lah, no? Easy, nampa differences, ah. Okay, so we put them into a different temperatures, no? Sini, daripada the lowest temperature to the highest temperature at a period of time, no? And then, of course, you nampa ni, this is uh, one time we are looking at, lah. Maybe at 10 seconds, uh, example, lah, no? Okay, so this is the log realization modulus. Kerana kenapa kita bagi dia log, kita nak straight line. Kita tak mau curve. <laughs> so, kita logkan. <laughs> okay, so kita logkan ni, logkan ni. Eh? Oh, sorry. Kita log the time, log the modulus, log the time. So, mo realization modulus versus time. Because we are more interested on straight line in size. We don't like curve. No? So, curve is very difficult lah to... to to explain, to analyze, no? susah lah. Okay. Okay, so you see ah, this is the lowest time. Eh, sorry, uh, the, the, the shortest 
the lowest temperature ah kalau saya ni uh, lowest temperature ah uh, big T is temperature small T is time okay big capital T is temperature small letter of T is time so from uh, the lowest temperature up to the high temperature so we will see how the relaxation modulus eh? of course you will see in general in general in general what you can see here from from here in general what you can see when the time uh, increase uh, when the temperature increasing what happened to the relaxation modulus answer please <laughs> okay sekarang tak mau jeff tak mau chan mei orang lain <laughs> Jaime lagi. Okay. Okay. Faya to good. Decreasing eh. Okay. Bagus. No. Kalau ni tak boleh nampak ni. Eh, boleh macam tak payah belajar lah kan. No. Okay. So you are not suit to be the university student lah eh. Okay. Decreasing lah. And decreasing dramatically right. When the highest temperature apply. This is T7 from T1. Uh, to T7. Okay. And uh, you see this T1. The T1 curve, uh, the changes of the relaxation modulus is not obvious, be frank to you. So meaning that uh, PS, uh, the, the amorphous PS, you put this is um, below TG. Below TG. So when you put them at below TG, um, their modulus is not, the relaxation modulus not change much. And I can say it's constant, it's keep constant. Tak ubah pun. Kerana it's in the elastic behavior. Like solid and still obeys the hook's law. Okay. So, dia tak akan apa change pun. Okay, the temperature ini. Tetapi, when we increase the temperature. <laughs> the polymer change its uh, phases. The polymer change sleep and then you know elongate. Um, then sleep each other far and far away, and then they become the viscous behavior like liquid. Ah, uh, nampak sini dia akan dramatical drop eh, the uh, relaxation modulus until maybe sometime it can become zero lah. Dah tak ada lah. Uh, dah sudah, how to say, break lah. Okay. No? Dah de uh, the deformation, eh? failure occur. So, and then, apa lagi? Curve displacement to lower T level will increase in damage. Okay? I, I have expect. So, remember this one and then we connect to this. Eh? Ah, ini important. Okay. So, when we this is uh, one of the example where we can see it very obviously. Uh, the relaxation modulus versus time. Uh, sorry, versus temperature. Tadi versus time. No? To see the viscoelastic uh, characteristic. No? And we also can plot the relaxation modulus versus temperature. Uh, tadi kan ada dah. This is the temperature example. This T7 is the maybe up to 200 lah, no? Okay. So, you can see this, huh? um, very um, good example. Eh? Polystyrene, amorphous polystyrene. Okay. So, at this uh, you can the, usually we like to plot modulus versus time or modulus versus temperature eh? for this uh, relaxation. Eh? Okay. Although you calculate the stress and then that's why in the end you have to get the modulus. So, you nampak tak? Eh, uh, dia kan macam ni. Eh? A certain uh, stages no? happen when the temperature increase, no, from like, uh, let's start at 60 degrees Celsius and up to 200 degrees Celsius. So at the beginning, 
uh, we know the stress relaxation is the decreasing of the modulus, no? Okay, from time and temperature juga, dia akan decrease, keep decreasing. So at this stage, at the low temperature, the, the polymer behave like a solid, I tell you already. So you see the constant modulus happen. Tak tukar pun, eh? Okay, then slowly, when uh, temperature increase, no, sampai up to sini, no, it may it start to reach its TG. No, start to reach its, go to its TG. Uh, dia, uh, nampak dah? Uh, dia dah tukar dah, eh? Start it before like a leather light. And then slowly, beyond the TG, ah, uh, rubbery. Oh, okay. And then, lagi, dia jadi liquid dah lah. Jadi liquid dah lah. Okay. So, it drops until dia tak ada modulus dah kosong. Oh, not kosong eh. Negative. Oh. Okay. So, and this is where, this is where you know, this is where you know, this is the melting temperature of amorphous PS and here okay this lah macam dulu sini you know this is the temperature of this is the TG okay the TG at the middle here so this is the TG of uh, what you call uh, this amorphous PS so from the stress realization test, we can also predict the TG and TM of the polymer. Uh, if it is the relaxation modulus versus temperature. No. Okay, so it, you must know how to explain this in a clear way. So once you understand this, you plot this, no? Uh, if you, you if you can't remember, uh, example, you can't remember this, uh, unit is okay. But you need to show the pattern like this, no? Okay, this is, um, I call it uh, amorphous, uh, a polymer, behavior of the amorphous polymer. Okay, actually, we want to differentiate. Okay, when it goes to this, there are three kinds of polymers now. Oh, so curve A, okay, curve A, not really obvious like, you know, just now we learned the red color. Actually, the, the one that we learned is the red color, eh? And then now we add two more lines. That's why I told you, right, for your tensile test, I haven't checked your report there, eh? sorry. Uh, you just need to plot one graph for two polymers like this. So this is the, you can see the difference uh, clearly. No? You can see the difference clear, clearly. So uh, this is polymer A, blue color is B, and C and red color is C. C is the one we learned, like this one. Is amorphous. Eh? Amorphous thermoplastic, no? Okay. Okay, so um, so this is your our guide, amorphous thermoplastic. If let's say we have a high crystallinity of polymer, semi-crystalline, no? So semi-crystalline, we still can find their TG, what we learn, or uh, we still can have the melting temperature, right? So, for the semi-crystal line, the pattern will be like this. Okay, ada lagi dia punya curve. Ada lagi, ne? To show the TG and the melting. Tapi, the melting temperature increase, ne? Because of the crystal, uh, the crystal structure of the polymer. So, the melting temperature is higher than the amorphous. No. Okay. So, apa macam B ni? Dia tak ada, no? <laughs> tak turun, no? <laughs> Don't 
Laminate central modulus tak turun dah. Kenapa eh? Uh, what is represent to this B? Uh, tapi B, B sudah beritahu dah lah. Okay. So it's a closed link polymer. Uh, it's form a three-dimensional polymer. That's why this one tak boleh de-cycle. It's non-recyclable. Eh? So, dia macam ni saja. Dia terus saja. Dia tak turun dah. So, kerana dia tak ada melting bone. Eh? There's no melting temperature. Eh? They are, they only have TG for the cold link type of polymer. So, just static macam tu saja. Ah, but they... Uh, their behavior of this um, relaxation, this, the, the reading of this relaxation modulus is between eh, and the end. Dia tak tinggi sangat, tak rendah sangat dia punya relaxation modulus. Ah, Dia tak pergi macam uh, benda viscous. Dia tak pergi obey the, you know, the, the how to say, the viscous part tak lah. Oh, sangat the flow, dia tak flow dah lah kerana dia jadi three dimensional network eh dia tak boleh jadi, tak dapat jadi liquid sebenarnya, dia tak ada dah kat situ so dia straight saja eh, okay so this is how we differentiate eh um, the armor first, thermoplastic okay, the semi crystalline thermoplastic the close link thermoplastic, sebenarnya polystyrene is a thermoplastic no? tapi the cold link not only the cold link thermoplastic but the rubber is the same as long as it's cold link dia macam ni so, so all the cold link polymer they don't have melting temperature no. and also goes to your ABS betul tak? when you learn ABS sebenarnya ABS is a little bit like um, tapi coating dia tak coating lagi kan tapi dia tak ada the true melting eh dia tak ada true melting temperature ah and you will be uh, more interested on the TG okay so this is example the ah uh, how we can differentiate eh this is important okay how we can differentiate if we see this kind of perf Uh, this kind of comparison, at least we know. Oh, any green color uh, is a characteristic of the semi-crystalline polymer. The other, other crystal structure are the amorphous. Eh? So, and then this is the amorphous, no? And this is the cold sling. And how we can know, uh, they are the melting, lagi. Dua dua jenis polymer ni are the melting. Tapi one, the melting temperature is lower. Another one, the melting temperature is higher. Ah, uh, okay, no? I think last dah habis dah lah untuk uh, this slide eh. Nanti saya sharekan another powerpoint eh. Uh, another import. Okay. Other question dah? Before uh, before we go to the last topic. And all today what you learn is all important for your test eh. Until until here for your test is until this um, lecture 5 okay the lecture 6 will be helping you for your exam uh, for examination later uh, got questions no apalah amiro you tak tahu ke bukan ke saya dah beritahu sharini sharini you tak cerita ke kat you punya group ni <laughs> thanks Oh, dia year one. Lepas tu, kenapa tak masuk dia dalam chat group kita ni? Oh. Uh, Amiru, can you, you, you please, um, and you, you have to be in our group, right? We have a chat group. And then, you give your number, phone number to Shalini. Or you can type your phone number here and then they will put you in the group. Tiba-tiba question ini keluar. Okay. Uh, so the test will be on Wednesday. Uh, so Shalini, take note, uh, put Amiro in the chat group. Saya tak jaga pun you punya chat group sebenarnya eh. Uh, so if you, uh, but I still write emails, I mean not emails lah, I mean emails for the... Uh, 
Okay, so you kena other eh. Uh, you kena letak makeup and because I usually contact Shalini, uh, she always contact me. Uh, so for the update, I think as what other kan dalam group dah. Uh, so siapa yang tak ada dalam group, mungkin you have your private group ke, I tak tahu lah eh. I pun tak kisah lah. Uh, so you, okay, so you have to, Okay. True stress. Okay, I saw true stress trend graph in many research. Is the more significant to scientists compare the stress trend curve? No. Ada ga example macam mana? Kami is a stress trend curve lah sebenarnya. Ah, log kan value tu. Oh, alright. Um, they log the value is um they log the value is they want to get the straight line. Ah, uh, so I confuse whether I need to log or unlock it. Uh, but for the tensile, the stress strain curve, we seldom do the lock lah, huh? Oh? Uh, then what? Okay, where are? Let me see. This is, this is the, this is the unlock part, eh? The modulus uh, relaxation, okay? And this one is the lock part, no? Hmm. Um, actually, it's just easy for us to do some calculations lah. Uh, for the scientists, if they lock the curve, they want to make their work easy for the calculation because once they lock it, it becomes straight line. Uh, it becomes straight line. You, you can lock it. Once you lock this one, right, it becomes like this wall. <laughs> <laughs> straight line so you cannot see the real you know the real pattern like this you can lock okay uh, but you can't see the real pattern like this ah uh. uh, you see like this punya wall so this is the straight line nothing uh, more to straight line and then easy for calculation but um for this is easy for us to understand the behavior of the polymer so it it depends on the purpose. If you lock on the lock on the uh, you lock the uh, value is for easy to calculate for the calculation. Uh, if you unlock this, this is the unlock one, the original one. Uh, you can see the really the curve pattern. Not for the calculation purpose lah. For this is for us to understand well. Uh, so we can see uh, the glassy part, the lateral, the rubbery, uh, like this, you can able to help you in explanation. No. But if let's say like this, right, difficult for us to do the explanation. No. And, but it is easy for us to do the calculation. <laughs> I, I hope I answer your question. Lah, huh? Can't explain about or... Oh, Yes, no? Yes, correct. It's for calculation purpose is okay, it's good. But for understanding, uh, you need to use the real, uh, uh, the unlocked one. So you can see the trend, uh, the curve, uh, it not in the straight line anymore. Eh? Okay? Okay, thank you for the question. Uh. It's very good. Eh. Uh, I... I never encounter this kind of question from students in these 10 years. I <laughs> think you are the first one who asked. Very good, very good. No? So the rest can uh, learn also. Okay, very good. Mm. Okay, now I will we'll continue eh? the other part. And continue. And I think uh, um, Dr. Nasri, no? will teach you also in this one but I I am more interested on the understanding lah 
um, how to say uh, uh, why the pattern is like that uh, not do the calculation on it tapi why the pattern is like that it's still uh, related no, to uh, this called elasticity eh? right. so you also will learn this the more mechanical uh, properties with Dr. Nancy I know uh, okay maybe I make a a quick one and also because I have a recorded video for you perhaps uh, next week or we can have a very uh, short class only like one day on uh, Thursday or so we, we no need to meet on the Wednesday of course Wednesday morning afternoon uh, Wednesday noon is your test right from 12 to 1 from 12 to 1 eh, uh, Amiro Wednesday, the test will be on Wednesday 12 to 1 at Muhiba. I, I haven't tell the exact place to Shalini yet. Okay or not? Um, because you are first year, whether the timetable crash or not. Amiru, Thursday 12 to 1, eh, the test of this subject. The other time. Okay, okay, good. Okay, eh? Right. Oh, um, oops, sorry. So we continue. Uh, we have a uh, thirty minutes now. Right. Okay. The more mechanical. So from this word, uh, we have four more year one. Ah, uh, you, you, uh, you tell the other group. Uh, your other friends, no? Ah, uh, they have class. Uh, you inform, but the test will be, ah, uh, the test will be, else you can do the test earlier, cannot be late, cannot be Thursday. Uh, Amiru, you have my number or not? Ah, uh, same time table with you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the test, we cannot do the test on Thursday during the class. I'm sorry. So we must do the test. The latest is Wednesday because I have to submit your uh, your score to the school on Friday. So I, I need to check your answer and then I have to key in. I have to do analysis. Huh? So the, the latest I can give because Shalini, I actually want sh want you guys to do the test on Tuesday, but you many your senior cannot do the Tuesday, so they ask for Wednesday. So Wednesday, I said morning. Uh, uh, okay, um, so they say okay, twelve to one p.m. So if the year one, you can't do the test on Wednesday, you have to do it maybe on Monday or Tuesday. Never mind, I can give you the test, but let me know. It's a physical test. No, you can come if you can't match the time with them. So, Tapa, you can do the test uh, earlier than them. Okay? Huh? Uh, inform me or you just inform me so I can arrange either uh, Monday, Tuesday, uh, Monday or Tuesday. But B, Monday should be in the afternoon uh, because Monday morning I have lab with you all. Done. Mm. Okay, uh. So five of you, right? Okay, no problem. If five of you can do on Tuesday, lagi bagus. Okay, uh, you do on Tuesday. You don't mix with your mix with this senior. Yeah. If you can, then everyone do on Wednesday. That is the best uh, That is the best is everyone come on the Wednesday 12 to 1. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, let us take this word first. What do you understand about this word? The more mechanical. Tak mau Jeff, tak mau Chai Mei. Okay. Uh, heat, okay. Lepas tu, mechanical in temperature, okay. Yeah, betul. Okay, so there's a there there must be two in one, <laughs> two in one meaning that the heat, uh, in general speaking ah, uh, layman punya speaking macam 
Farahato Katala hit, eh? Okay. Uh, this is layman. Eh? Okay. So it involves if temperature, heat, okay. Uh, then together with this uh, mechanical. So the test uh, will be performed uh, under a temperature and to know uh, the mechanical properties uh, in the temperature dependent, uh, you say. Karena kita dah belajar time dependent also, right? And then also there's a factors will influence the viscoelastic of the mat of the polymer. Um, the the main one of the major factor is the temperature. Uh. So okay, then we also learn just now, right? We see when the temperature change, what happened to this uh viscoelastic polymer behave uh, in a different structure. Can no? Okay, so. Next one, you see, oh. So um, one of the one of the method we can use, we learn about creep and uh, stress relaxation, okay. And then there are another one, um, like uh, we 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 have this machine, uh, we have okay, we have this uh, dynamic mechanical analyzer, uh, in our lab. We have in Unimap, eh? okay. So this is also one of, uh, and this one, okay, kids. This this kind of dynamic mechanical test, the sample will not fail. Different, uh, different. <laughs> Just now what we learned previously, all uh, the sample, uh, the not not sample, the specimen, the test specimens, they are all have to fail. They are all fail, and failure occur. Uh. But this dynamic mechanical DMA analysis, the specimen will not fail, but fail. <laughs> okay. uh, so we cannot let this uh, material fail. Kala material fail, change color, okay, change color, ataupun, even though change color pun tak boleh, okay, change color, change dimension, either it's width or length, or, and then feel like it's rock lah kan, ah? okay, so tak boleh. They can, uh, before and after is the same, the appearance, the colors, the length, the dimension, whatever, okay. <laughs> so it is like, um, a f um, so the di what is the meaning of dynamic scene? Dun -dun. What is the meaning? No Jeff, no Chime. <laughs> I have to always emphasize no. Awangni. <laughs> okay, what's the meaning of dynamic? <laughs> Bukan selalu awang juga aktif juga. Tapi pagi ni tak dengar dia eh. No. Okay. So when you when you see this word dynamic, apa yang maksud dia dynamic ni eh? I don't want to wait so long eh. We not where are you? We not here or not? Tak tahu. <laughs> okay, Miro. <laughs> Studying the eh, good try Miro. Thank you. Lagi siapa? Good try ah Miro. Lagi siapa? Nah, nah try. One more, one more please. Try me. Under periodic cyclic loading, okay. Cyclic loading meaning macam you clear tak kalau kita tulis cyclic loading ni. To to many of you, when the word cyclic loading ni, you what can you understand from these uh, two words? Karena kalau kan kita just accept saja kan kita tak pergi teliti, no. Not so sure. <laughs> But it's movable. Ha, itulah keyword dia. Okay, thank you, Chai Mei. It's movable. Okay. <laughs> uh, dynamic is something moving. <laughs> dia tak static. Dia tak static. Dia tak diam kat situ. Dia tak macam, uh, okay, yes. It's something move. Keep moving. Let's keep moving, eh. Dia tak static. Dia tak diam macam, how to say, 
dia tak diam macam ber... eh macam you buat fracture you buat tensile ha even though you buat creep no you buat uh, stress relaxation sample tu dia tak move ah dia move lah tapi you kena load dia macam constant dia bagi load eh, 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 eh. dia akan move sikit sikit sikit, sikit kan tak, tapi dynamic ini dia akan macam ni faham tak <laughs> dia, dia akan move selalu move every, like move 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 uh, depends lah depends on miro depends you want to uh, use the tension movement meaning that tension movement is like uh, this is a tensile you can imagine that but tensile uh, the tensile test you did in uh, the lab is dia move macam ni eh, when not applied eh, dia akan tarik 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 betul tak no betul no tetapi kan kalau um, dia dynamic punya tu dia akan macam tarik tarik sikit release tarik release tarik release so banyak cycles 1,000 cycle, 2,000 kind of cycle, 3,000 cycles. 3,000 tarik release, tarik release, tarik release, 3,000. Ah, macam tu. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so this is called dynamic. Ah, so ada, ada test macam ni punya. Why? In the reality, application is like that kan, betul tak? You imagine lah, in the reality punya application is like that kan, you on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Betul tak? Then you can, you, you, you test, ah, uh, you, you test macam, Um, takkan in the reality you 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 guna you pakai you pakai produk tu macam itu ah, mana ada kan in the reality is like keep moving dia ya? on off on off on off you tarik you turunkan you tarik turunkan kan banyak kali uh, so that's why is also to test the reliability of the material lah macam oh kalau saya tarik satu ribu kali tu kan at this temperature uh, at the temperature range changes of the temperature dia boleh tahan berapa lama <laughs> macam tu lah Uh, but this is the reality ma. The reality is like this kan. Uh, man ada yang static ma. Mm. Tak ada pun kan. Uh. So this is more close to the uh, realistic application lah. Sebenarnya is is more on this dynamic mean part. Okay. Right. So uh, the cyclic meaning that uh, how many times so how many cycle you you tarik you pulang you tarik you you pulangkan dia kan tarik pulang one cycle tarik pulang at second cycle ah macam tu tapi we usually the cycles they did there is more than thousands punya eh bukan berapa kali aja kalau benda tu buat hanya beberapa kali buat macam tu sudah fail ah tak boleh pakai dah lah kan <laughs> okay before they deform okay before they deform So that's why it involved with a frequency. Ah, now kita hanya belajar temperature time kan. Nampak graph tu hanya versus temperature or time. Tapi ini ada satu lagi versus frequency. Nah, ada apa? Ah, frequency actually is the rate lah. Berapa cepat you tarik turun, tarik turun, tarik turun. <laughs> ah, kan sudah really tu juga juga sama kan. Ada orang dia buat pelahan pelahan punya. Ada orang dia buat cepat. Punya. Itu it depend on the human being punya karakter kan? Ha, ada yang tak boleh <laughs> kan? um, So macam tu lah eh. Tapi we will perform the test according to standard Again we have to perform the test according to standard Kenapa ni? Why? Why we have to perform the test uh, according to standard? Okay lah, STM standard, ISO standard, ISO standard, Malaysian standard. Ada eh, kita ada Malaysian standard kan? Uh, Malaysian standard, German standard, apa-apa macam standard pun ada. Kenapa kena buat ikut standard? Climate different. Okay, boleh. Uh, good try. Adalah one of the reason lah, okay. The main reason, ah, saya nak, fik, nak tahu siapa yang tahu boleh teka-teki yang the main reason ni. Saya tak pernah cerita lagi kan kenapa kita kena buat stand, ikut standard kan, betul tak? To get maximum quality. Eh, Amiro is very good lah. Uh, quality, okay. When Amiro mention about quality, ya, eh? bagus ni eh, perkataan. Quality just by who? <laughs> what, what? Okay now we go back. 
what is the meaning of quality? Oops, saya pernah ditanya-tanyakan by my professor eh, when I was a student. <laughs> Tiba-tiba semua orang sepang kat situ. I pun pun tak tahu macam mana nak jawab sebenarnya eh. <laughs> when I was a student. Eh. Not, not, that's why I remember eh, very, uh, you know, I, I remember it very strongly until now. Okay. Ah, bagus ni. Ah, inilah ada belajar ni ni. Uh, provide framework how the company expect no. Okay. You think whose answer is 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 more more relevant and make sense? Chai Mei punya answer ataupun Hanis punya answer? <laughs> no me. Jeff, you think siapa punya answer lebih na? Chai Mei. Ah, okay. Hmm, Chai Mei give the. A good answer, eh? Over everyone except Chai Mei. <laughs> okay, so I like this kind of interaction, eh? We make jokes. Keep keep going this. It's very nice. Okay? So, uh, never mind. Jeff ni bagus kan? Like this, no? Actually, I like this kind of interaction. Eh? Make joke in the class, feel happy, and then move on, and then, no? Can we can remember, ma? You feel happy, you remember, no? Okay, ma, so... Uh, Chinese answer is correct. Eh? Um, so some, I think you you belajar ni daripada apa yang apa subjek tu apa control eh? I can't remember you belajar ni the quality control lah, ne? Eh? Something ah, okay, mesti ada lor. Ah, okay, I pun belajar tu belajar ini daripada quality control ni <laughs> for my professor. Eh? Okay, but I know this when I was a master student, not undergraduate, no. Okay, is is to meet customer requirement, eh, quality. Quality is set by human being lah, come on. Betul lah. Simply say, kalau you tengok kat belakang ni, quality tu siapa yang buat? Siapa yang kata benda ni quality? Kita semualah, it's a customer. Betul lah. It's a human being. <laughs> it's a human being beside the quality. Kan, in the end, Senang cerita. <laughs> it's a human being. Ah, decide the quality. And then, of course, the recent development, people say the quality is also, you have to do something beyond the human being expectation, beyond the customer's expectation. That is even better. The industry, lah, example, the, uh, uh, the, Industry, uh, international, multinational company, uh, they always say the quality is not only meet the customer's expectation, but it should be on. Yeah, they always emphasize this one, beyond the customer's uh, expectation. So, uh, sebenarnya kan, saya punya expectation, no? Dengan anda punya expectation, tak sama tau. Betul tak? <laughs> Betul tak? So, it's also meaning the quality mah. Pada saya mungkin, ha, pada saya mungkin saya rasa, eh macam ni ya, ah, saya rasa dia tak tak cukup baik lagi, oh, oh tak cukup bagus oh, produk ini. Saya, kalau saya uh, rasa uh, saya ada effort lah, I have some more money, eh, I will buy the another type, uh, another brand of the product. Ah, So, so that is why this quality, ya, ah, sometimes, is uh, quite a little bit subjective like customer what kind of level of customer kalau you detail lagi your product you expect it to to what level of customer ada customer yang banyak duit kaya raya kan dia boleh beli benda yang mahal ada yang tak so uh, so that is why nanti when you when you work on this uh, Capstone, eh? Yeah, Amiro, cheap one versus quality, kan? Sometimes, the cheap, the cheap thing, not meaning that dia tak ada quality. As long as dia meet the expectation of this golongan customer. Betul tak, Amiro? Dia juga di, boleh dikatakan quality? <laughs> kan, kalau straight disay lah. Ha. Ha. So, kan, tak semestinya benda yang uh, murah, dia tak boleh kat, dia kita boleh kata dia tak kualiti sebenarnya produk yang murah ini dia target kepada customer yang golongan yang miskin tapi pada golongan miskin customer ini dia dia sudah rasa inilah kualiti betul tak 
<laughs> so that is why uh, you do the yeah so you do the later you do the what you call it uh, you you do the this uh uh washboard pasar malam <laughs> then a live functioning where until now see ah so the definition of quality is anda sendiri kalau saya rasa lah anda sendiri yang decide adakah ini quality <laughs> ha, semua orang punya expectation tak sama kita orang semua tak sama-sama betul tak berlain lainan Oh, saya rasa ni dah cukup dah Tapi kan ada orang kata Eh tak boleh lagi, kena buat lagi baik lagi ah, Kan tak sama Setiap orang punya expectation tak sama So kalau sampai orang ni Dia dah rasa quality dah So he or she is not wrong lah Kan kita tak boleh kata dia salah Tapi pada dia punya ability dan expectation dia Macam ni saja dia kata macam ni dia dah cukup dah Dah meet he or her expectation itu juga masuk quality walaupun benda tu murah so we we so when you design the material you design the uh, you how to say you you design the uh, product you may you may need to con, you you have to consider the your target customer what kind of customer are you targeted oh Sama, you drive the car, ayah tak payah tengok car lah. You, we, 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 we pakai komputer kan. Komputer banyak brand, betul tak? Oh, ada yang seribu dah boleh dapat. Ada yang kena sampai sepuluh ribu, kan? Dari seribu sampai sepuluh ribu ringgit tu. Kan the, the, the price of the computer, wow. Big range, you know? Ah, tapi juga ada orang beli seribu punya pun juga ada orang beli. Sepuluh ribu punya pun juga ada orang beli, bukan? Betul tak? Ah, so, the expectation is different dia rasa satu satu ribu komputer tu dah cukup makan dah dah cukup dia buat kerja uh, dia dah satisfied dah itu juga quality <laughs> oh saya tulis my essay like this to my professor i dapat a <laughs> okay so something like this lah i they ask in the exam question so i tell it lah so actually this is common sense like right? it's not something not related to science kan tak ada theory science pun kan and you boleh you boleh cerita lah macam-macam uh. <laughs> hmm. so it's a technique small deformation okay no so dynamic i told you uh actually it's just it's a technique for small deformation is applied to the specimen Small. Alamak, satu question lagi orang tanya. Small. How small is it? Lora. <laughs> kan? You, kalau you detail lah, kalau you are a detail student eh, you you will tanya, Doktor, small tu, macam mana small eh? How small is so called small? <laughs> kan, Lora. Uh. So, size ini sangat straightforward. Sebenarnya, kalau kita boleh define dia, Siap-siap. And how small is small? So, sebenarnya the this small deformation is is we still not observe the changes in physically. Meaning that in our naked eye we still cannot see it. There is a changes. It's only within the polymer chain inside. There already there is a deformation, but it's not as obvious as we can see use our naked eye like uh, there's a failure happen or there's a changes of color and dimension that the it's just to the 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 polymer chain kat dalam tu just start to move themselves saja tapi tak sampai lagi tukar benda-benda lagi oh <laughs> okay no macam itulah okay. so uh that's why in science it's sangat straightforward uh if you really you if later you work or you study even uh, higher level uh, then you you will get a definition example high okay how high is called high okay something like make it a very simple way yeah huh? our height or our weight berat our weight so how to categorize obese obesity fat medium light betul kan <laughs> ha. so they calculate using the bmi 
ha? So this is science lah Very straightforward kan Ah, ha, Dia tak ada macam arts punya eh? Tak tahu lah the grey area lah Tak ada, dia straightforward ha, Kalau you BMI kurang daripada 20 ha, You macam tak cukup berat <laughs> ha, Kan? Ha, macam tu lah So same goes to study so, uh, any any subject you study if you can come out with a definition a very clear definition let everyone understand how high is high how low is low how uh, something like this we if if you able to tell about this the range of the statistic or, or the numbers Okay, science like numbers, uh, engineers like numbers. Okay, so you can, if you can give numbers, range, if it falls in this range, meaning that it is high. Okay, fall in that range, meaning that this is low. Jangan cakap low dan high saja, tapi you define them. This is science. Okay, an engineer like it sebenarnya. Okay, ha ha, we have this, uh, we have this, exactly the same, huh? we have this. So we have DNA, we call it in short is DMA. Oh, so uh, this is the specimen holder. Eh? You can change the holder in different test mode. Same like we do same like we did for the uh, short performance test, uh, tensile. There's a tensile mode also, there is a fracturer mode also, there is a cantilever mode also, no? Okay, and there's also a compression mode. Man, a uh, different kind. So you you just change the holder, same like you do the tensor. But this this one huh, is in a smaller scale. Your uh, your specimen dimension is a uh, smaller, no? And it depends lah. It depends on ah, belum lagi eh habis sangat important lah. I think this you can use until final year. Kenapa nak buat test ikut standard? Eh tak jawab lagi kan? Hanya Hanya siapa yang jawab ni? Hanya ma 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 uh, Miro eh kan Miro jawab the quality lah things kan and then Chime jawab uh, apa dah tadi? Tadi jawab apa dah eh? Tadi tiba-tiba lupa dah <laughs> eh, Anyone want to uh, add lah? Anyone want to add um, why we why we want to do ha? Huh? The test ah, example, any man you buy the product can, uh, especially the electrical appliances. You gonna we we have to be careful ah, when you buy. I think I cerita already kan. I don't know cerita kan. You guys apa lah? Um, you have to make sure it is already uh past the Malaysia standard. Other itu logo MS oh, kan electrical appliances must be very careful. Kalau tak nanti fire eh rumah. Akan jadi bakar di. Uh, so this one, the test, whatever test you did already, eh, in the four tests for group one to four, they did four tests already, and then for this one, for cream, for stress relaxation, kenapa nak ikut standard ni? Minimal fulfill the product if the product need to sell, okay, need to be sold, okay, have to pass the standard test. Uh, kenapa? Time <laughs> Standard ni siapa yang buat? Ah, siapa yang buat standard? <laughs> siapa yang buat standard? Who create the standard? Organization. Okay, organization come from who? Lagi, doktor ni tak tanya habis ni. Government come from? Siapa yang form government? <laughs> Ah, uh oh. Siapa yang form government? Siapa yang form organization? Human, yes. Okay, human being lah. <laughs> okay, so standard. Ah, yeah, this kind of thing is all our human being punya kerja ma. Human being yang create punya kan. Nah, nah, nah. See, is the is our job lah. And then uh, more systematic. Can make our world our world more systematic, and then uh, it can be accepted by the the world. Can can be accepted by the world uh, by the all human being in different countries, no? Yeah. So that okay, no? So jual dengan rugi yang beli punya orang. Yeah. So 
it depends no your market place again no? depends on the market i mean your business market where you want to sell this product kalau you hanya target malaysia you ikut malaysia standard dah cukup dah kan ah uh, kalau you nak target globally of course you kena ikut international standard like international standard organizations called ISO right? or American standard usually American standard is uh, accepted worldwide when they see the American they nampak okay lah boleh uh, boleh percaya lah in the mindset of majority of the human being in the world betul tak? <laughs> ah, tapi uh, that's why lah kalau you hebat you akan orang akan lebih trust you lah the meaning is like that no cannot run away this reality okay so and the second uh there are all the answers are good now thank you for the answers and then of course mm, it's also good for you to do comparison like uh, it also related to quality lah, com for comparison Example, I manufacture the product in Malaysia and I have, uh, I open a company. Uh, you lah, you, you open company, you rich, you are rich, you open a company in the US. Oh, so you other satu company at US. Oh, so you got the test. You gonna ikut standard yang sama. Kalau tak, you tak boleh buat comparison and then you don't know where is the uh where is the failure betul tak so if you use different standard you tak boleh compare so you have to compare with the same standard of testing else uh you can't compare you cannot say uh this product is quality product or this uh this product uh, meet the expectation if you seem if you don't follow the standard of test so orang lain tak percaya anda tak percaya saya lah example eh tak percaya saya kerana saya simply buat aja tak orang percaya pun tak boleh jual kan so is give also give confidence uh, to the customer as well no? and 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 also in our in research eh, in research purpose we usually do the test according to the american standard because most of the researchers they they perform the test uh, they uh, they do according to the american standard become a universal so that we can make a comparison on their work and your work if you claim that your research your project is number 1 in the world is the best in the world so how you can claim that it is the best in the world of course you need to do comparison right uh, with the existing research or with the past research that has been done and your standard the the, perf the performing the test st uh, performing standard has to be same else the people will argue with you hey come on you this uh example me i'm not follow so uh, the other researchers will not satisfy hey come on you only do based on your malaysian standard well you malaysia apa <laughs> you can't some people in the world are tell mana malaysia eh, be frank to you when i went abroad i tell them i'm from malaysia they don't know you know then how i explain to them my country is next to singapore and then they will say oh singapore we know like that you feel so sad <laughs> Many times lah, I have to explain like this to them. Yeah, when I where I come from, which country I come from, you know, and then they say, ah, uh, because I I have to be feel proud to be Malaysian, gun, no, yeah, <laughs> KL is from Singapore. My God, uh, malu lah, gun. No, Twin Tower belong to Singapore, deh. <laughs> no. So, you know, sometimes you, you feel very sad, though. Uh, the small, the very small country in the world, just satu titik saja orang tahu. Singapore mana satu titik saja kan? Dalam globe, dalam itu peta kan? Ha, you tengok eh, the world map. Singapore macam ni saja, satu titik saja. Orang tahu. Oh. Tapi Malaysia besar daripada dia orang tak tahu. 
how shame we are. <laughs> Very sad, but that's the reality. Okay, so mm, never mind. I still have to say the truth. I say I'm from Malaysia, uh, but they don't know. Ah, oh, where is it? Where is in the map, ma? Where, where, where? I say, oh, uh, ups is the uh, we are at the northern part of Singapore. Ah, okay. Oh, macam tu lah. Kesian kita ni kan. So, tahu lah. Until now pun, I, I, I should that I, I've been, I'm not travel for two and a half year, right? Uh, yeah, uh, my last traveling date is uh, February 2020. Yeah, before the really the lockdown happened, I still able to go out. <laughs> and then after that, more. then have to get used to it, you know. And um, not really. I in 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 oh, macam kita dah boleh stop man. Kita uh, sembang sekejap eh, macam serono eh kita sembang ni. Nanti kita continue next week, no? This one, eh? Um, eh, blah, 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 blah. I want to say, ah, mm, we cannot say we, sometimes we cannot say, uh, have to get used to it. Lah. We have to prove ourselves. We are not so lousy in front of the other people that who do not know our country. What do you think? Prove yourself. Um, Sometimes you introduce is okay, but when you start make friend with the others, and then they will just notice that, ha, huh? wow, Malaysian nah, boleh cakap banyak language wo. <laughs> ah, this is what they surprise. Ah, this is what they surprise me. What 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 they surprise that? Oh, they 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 start to know that, huh? Ah, uh, Malaysian can talk so many languages now. Yeah. So they they will be surprised. Uh, uh, so we, we are not as lousy as what they think. Of course, the first impression, uh, they will think you are lousy. La. I'm lousy. La. From the first impression, they think I'm lousy. No? And then, but you try to express yourself, try to, um, you, when you get along with them, no? so so then uh, they, they will know. Uh, are you migrant? <laughs> uh, they did ask me before. Yeah, I say my ancestor is from China. Yeah, this is I can have to tell the reality. Like that only. Lah, I say, but I'm Malaysian. <laughs> um, no longer with, uh, related to China. I say, yeah, something like this. No. So it's just, uh, and then I phrase my country. I say, in my country, I can learn many languages. We are allowed to learn different kind of languages, and our education system is special. <laughs> In school, we have many languages can learn, <laughs> uh, starting from a uh, primary school. Yeah. So, but in other countries, they only learn their own uh, mother tongue. Example, right? Uh, even the Thai, uh, the Thai people, the Thai Chinese, or uh, they they don't have a. Uh, environment to learn Chinese anymore, right? But in Malaysia, we are so special. We have, I say, we have different kind of schools and different kind of in languages. So good. That's why I can speak at least three uh, languages, no? Uh, so, oh, uh, but of course, I also can speak um, the dialect, something like this. No? Yeah. But yeah, so you, you show your strength, no? you show your strength to them and then let them feel that hey, you are not bad or something like this. No? Huh. Mm. But else, uh, they will think that, oh, uh, Malaysia, they, maybe some of them, they will think that Malaysia, oh, cakap bahasa punya. <laughs> Semua orang hanya tahu cakap bahasa. Huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. No. Right. Um, Okay lah, nothing much. It's just you explain all to them. No, um, slowly, slowly. Hope that uh, use our little, use our little power or our little energy uh, to let the people outside know about our country. No, that is what we hope. No, ah, uh, yes. Then we do our part. So we have done our best. Then okay lah. Hmm. Tak boleh. Ah, uh, we don't don't simply accept. Reality, else we will not grow. 
you will not be strong. Uh, this is what I, I think uh, uh, if you can, uh, sometimes don't just accept the reality, change it uh, with your own capability if you can. Mm. I still feel Malaysia is very good country, okay, yeah. And I explain what is the good things of Malaysia. Every time I go and promote Malaysia one, <laughs> yeah, I say the good things to them. Oh, they only know. Hey, we still have a lot of good things. Oh. Uh, it's, it's, it's how you see it, how you uh, share with the others. Don't underestimate your country. Your country is good. Good location, a lot of natural resources. Uh, so, hmm. <laughs> okay. Now, um, no more. I see you next Wednesday, class, and then uh, class Thursday. Then finish, no? And then you continue by Dr. Nazri. Okay, nah, guys. So, enjoy lunch. Eh, hey, sudah ada ayat ah? It's, it's water? Ha, tak ada lagi ya? Alamak. Yo. Kesiannya. Oke. Okay. Uh, Oke, okay, so. Uh, we'll say bye-bye. Oke. Bye. Oke. Okay. 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 Uh, and uh, I want siapa tunggu kat sini? Eh. Siapa nak kena tunggu kat sini eh? Nisa, yes, thank you. Everyone please leave or oh. I need to talk to Nisa here. <laughs> mm.